Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you very much. Allow me, Chairman, to first of all recognize members of Central Committee. And as it were, you've noticed that today we have uh, seemingly taken a different way of handling press briefing uh, because of the situation I found, in, I found ourselves in. We allowed every leader here to introduce themselves and to say something as a way of symbolically demonstrating that we are united as a leadership of Patriotic Front and that uh, that criminal enterprise that was undertaken on Independence Day uh, between Mr. Mao Sampa, Mr. Haka Indeichrema, Jack Mwimbu, Siandenge, and uh, Mr. Akafumba being advised by an amateur political advisor in the name of Lembi Ngoma whose politics were restricted to Sinda Moreta Ama politics ya Finyamu Ngoma Atwara Kusteta Honorable MCC and leaders of Patriotic Front a lot has been said by leaders of the party in describing what happened on that day of uh, independence. But I thought that uh, mine is to speak to Ms. Aka in the chair, uh, this afternoon. Out of decency, we have not been, we have not yet produced voice notes of correspondence or phone calls between senior leaders of UPND hoping that your conscience will speak to you. The instruction that Mr. Haka in the HMA has been giving to his officers starting with Jack Mwembu, we are aware of your instruction. We are aware of how money has exchanged in having that criminal enterprise undertaken on that particular day. We are aware of what uh, was being attempted to be done yesterday. In that after Mr. Mausamp undertook his activity, there was a meeting to which it was agreed that the registrar, the chief registrar of society, should report to the office, her office, by seven o'clock yesterday. And by then, they were hoping that Mao Sampa would have done, put all the documentations in place, so that by eight o'clock, they should have already effected change of office bearers. Shame. As it were, Shame. the day that the activity was being undertaken, as a party, we had the attempted to seek redress through the courts. The unfortunate part is that uh, something mysterious happened in the sense that uh, all judges in the Lusaka jurisdiction were in this court. We also attempted, because at the high court level you can go to another jurisdiction, and that is the central province in Kabwe. Strangely, the judge also was in the in this court. Of course, yesterday, being a working day, we managed to deposit our court um, processes and obtained an injunction. But I think I want to state on behalf of Patriotic Fund 
that our position is that this case of patriotic fund puts the judiciary in this country on trial. Yes. Because we have been saying from 2021 that Mr. Akainde Ichema is systematically moving to dismantle and infiltrate and paralyze the two arms of government. Of course, the one that he leads, which is the executive, through tribalism and nepotism, he has already destroyed. Whether it is the Electoral Commission of Zambia, whether it is the police, whether it is other you know, security wings, he has already you know, paralyzed through nepotism and tribalism. He has moved into the judiciary, and I want to believe the Zambian people know that what Patriotic Front has been saying is becoming clearer and clearer by the day that these arms of government are being paralyzed. This case is a trial. It was cooked at community house, people sat, phone calls have been made. Jack Mwembu yesterday, even when there was a visiting head of state addressing parliament, he couldn't be addressed in parliament because he was monitoring what was happening at Red Shore Society, hoping that uh, there could be a, a change of office bearers. The lady there, that is the chief registrar, from the other day to yesterday into the night, she is under threat, threatening that she will lose her job. Even, even to disobey a court order. We want just to encourage that lady. You are educated. You are qualified. Losing the job out of taking a position of integrity is not a loss at all. But it is a gain for you. Stand firm and refuse to legitimatize this criminal enterprise. We have reported to the police several times. Mr. Mausap and his agents came to this secretariat to commit criminal you know, offenses or criminal, to undertake criminal activity of breaking property and the evidence is still there in things that are illegal and uh, we want to advise the registrar demand demand from these people written instructions we recuperate my paper instruction yo baka kushapa miliwili when they say can you do this and you know it's illegal just say put it in writing so that it is on record that the person was instructed you to undertake that criminal act is jack mwimbu or akafumba or whoever that is instructing you so that the, when the day of reckoning comes they will be called in and they'll pay for their sins True. We have a very important event that is coming. The memorial service and memorial day of our founding president, His Excellency President Michael Tunufiasad. Our senior members of the party, led by our national chair lady, we're hoping that she'll be here, but I think she's committed to the parliament. Uh, also, Honorable Godfrida Sumaili, Professor Nkanduo, uh, Pro, uh, Honorable Sylvia Charikos, Honorable um, Jean Kapata, uh, helping us to coordinate and mobilize, I mean organize, a respectful and befitting memorial service and celebration. I want to appeal as Secretary General on behalf of the Acting President and on behalf of President Edgar Chagwanu that please let's not allow the madness of our brother Michael, I mean my Mao Samba to cause us to demean and dilute the significance of that day. In our frustration or anger, please let's control ourselves. That day is a sacred day for patriotic front. We must uh, undertake all activities on that day with great honor and respect for our founding president. We must demonstrate love 
demonstrate unity but also reverence to the work and legacy of our founding president. President Michael Sata was not just president of Patriotic Front. <coughs> Through the platform of Patriotic Front, he became a national asset. Through the platform of the President of the Republic of Zambia, he became a global asset. Let's recognize that and let's conduct ourselves honorably on that particular day. There was a pronouncement made by acting president that on that day, it is a, a green day where we are encouraging all of us, all members of Patriotic Front, all sympathizers, and the general public to please join us in honoring President Michael Sata and the legacy represents of infrastructure development, the legacy represents of governing this country under the Ten Commandments, of the legacy represents of being a Democrat that even when he had won under first past the post system, majority votes, he still reached out to others in opposition because he believed that in developing a country, it is not the winner that eventually becomes the, you know, vanquish the, those who have lost. But even those who are weak in terms of those who have lost, he reached out to say let's work together. This vindictiveness that we are witnessing in this country under this new regime, I think on that day we should have an opportunity to reflect that there were leaders, politicians, who understood that winning an election is not the end in itself. There are other responsibilities that are placed on you. And President Michael Sata represented that type of leadership. And we should honor him on that particular day. Today, our appeal collectively is that let's remain united. Let's allow the UPND to embarrass themselves. True. We met some of the officials, including Kawana, at Red Sox Society. There is nothing like the chairman has said they are preoccupied with. Tabakwe is a solution in our economy. They are preoccupied with how they can deal with you, with patriotic France. The entire UPND establishment, they are hoping that by doing this criminal act, they will be able to shut the will and wishes of the Zambian people in 2026. We know the judiciary is under trial, but we still remain hopeful that there are still judicial officers and judges, even when you may have been aligned, but at least you have a conscience, and you still can uphold the ethics expected of a lawyer mm. to, live, to, to live by the law mm. and not by the emotions. Mm. So, Chief Justice, the judges in the Supreme Court, the judges in the Con Court, the judges in the Court of Appeal, the judges in the Court of um, in the High Court, we beseech you, mm. you are the sacred institution of the Republic of Zambia, mm. the conscience of this nation. Do that which is respected of Zambian people. And this is a timely warning. If you go against the will of the Zambian people, a day is coming of recording for all of us. When something erupts in this country, it does not choose whether you are a judge, you are a preacher, or you are a politician. You are all swept away. The only chance we have is when the judiciary begins to do the right thing. This matter of a patriotic front is a legitimate test and a trial against the judiciary. We hope you will be able to rise up. We are not seeking for favors from you, but we are seeking for the right thing to be done. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. And thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.